Yeah, y'all. Yeah, LVZ NBA Talk. Back with another video. Like, share, subscribe, peep the game. The motherfucker Sixers. So far, so good. 117, 110 with a victory over the visiting Denver Nuggets, who was led by the Joker's triple double. What was impressive to me was the way that uh, Philly won, despite uh, a multitude of things not being good, but them having so many weapons now and so much firepower, they were still able to beat Denver now. And like I said, Denver was led by Nikola Jokic, who was 50% from the field, 11 for 22. One for five from three, four for four from the free throw line, which gave him 27 points, 10 boards, 10 assists, three steals, no blocks, but four turnovers. Um, apple, orange, uh, which I like, banana, and cherry. His second in command was Jamal Murray, who was 9 for 20, 2 for 8 from the 3, 3 for 3 from the line, 2 for 8 from 3. Damn. But he had 23 points, 6 assists, 5 boards, and 1 block. Trey Lyles had 13 points off 5 for 10 shooting, 1 for 5 from 3. Uh, he had 13 points, 5 boards, Two assists. No, five, four boards, five assists, two blocks, one steal. Very good off the bench. Uh, Will Barton had 14 points. He was bonking. <laughs> he was six for 16, y'all. 0 for 1 from the three. Never forget, 14 points, eight boards, seven assists. But he was off. And really, that was the bulk of the scoring for Denver. Um, Malik Beasley had 12. Mason Plumley had 10 points. Eight boards, six assists itself. The Joker, like I said, had an all-around good game. Philly was led by Yay Reddick. 11 for 15 shooting, 6 for 7 from 3, 6 for 7 from the line. 34 big points, y'all. 34 for J.J. Three boards, three assists, and three turnovers. <laughs> but he was shooting the lights out. Jimmy Butler was second in command. Well, watch this, y'all. Four for nine shooting from the field. 0 for 1 from 3. 14 for 14 from the line. Jimmy Butler had 22 points. Seven boards. Five assists. Three steals. No turnover. Pretty much a clean game for Jimmy Butler. Joel Embiid had an off game. Four for 17 from the field. 0 for 5 from 3, but 7 for 8 from the line. 15 points, 12 boards, 4 blocks, 1 steal, 1 assist, and 4 turnovers, man. Dang. Ben Simmons. No, Tobias Harris was the third leading scorer, shooting 6 for 12. With 14 points, 8 boards, 3 assists, 1 steal. Then Ben Simmons was 5 for 10 from the field with 12 points, 6 assists, 4 rebounds, and 9 turnovers, folks. 9. Yesterday, the Celtics had 8. And the Lakers had eight as a team. Ben Simmons outdid a team. Despite that, 
and despite James and despite uh, the bench actually combined for 20 quick points. All of them, nobody played more than 16 minutes. Mike Scott played the most. He was 1 for 4 from the field, 0 for 2 from 3. But he still had two points. Boban was 0 for 1 from 3, 2 for 4 from the field. He had four points and uh, two boards and a block, <laughs> of course. James Ennis came in. He was 2 for 2 from 3. He had six quick points, three boards, and two assists, one steal coming in from Houston. Uh, T.J. McConnell gave him two for two for four points. Furkan Korsman gave him two for two for four points. So, basically, the bench came in, gave him 20 quick points, and an average minutes. That's pretty good. Well, so far, so good. So even with your big best player, Joel Embiid, playing bad, even with your point guard, Ben Simmons, giving up nine points, even with nobody from your bench really having eye-popping stats, you were still able to overpower the second-best team in the West. This is a very good victory, and it shows you the firepower that uh, Philly has, and if they get lock and step, this is a dangerous team, folks. So let's check them out. One LVZ, man. Come on.